Numerous deaths at the hands of a marauding wolf being recorded in a neighboring county, I set out to see if I could determine the cause. There had been rumors of a werewolf, and the dark signs did indeed seem to be present. The deaths had all occurred within a 40-kilometer range of woods, and at the heart was the village of Alfeng. My assistant and I set a trap a short distance from the village. Though the beast had shown a propensity for human flesh, livestock had also been taken. It was a newling lamb we loosed in the thicket as a lure. We awaited downwind. For two nights, the lamb bleated to no purpose, and once we had to fend off a hungry fox. But at last, the beast himself took the bait. I might have missed him. The night was so dark, and the wolf himself was black. But my assistant saw the light of his eyes, and I heard the lamb's cries turn fearful. He had the poor dumb lamb by the throat when we sprang. He was swift and might have escaped, but his fatal mistake was to attack rather than run. My dagger struck through his chest and into his right lung. As I had agreed, we bound the wolf and tied shut its jaws. We brought it home to Rittersburg, still breathing, and turned it over to the magistrate. I pray for the man's unfortunate soul. May the law be swift and merciful. God be praised for aiding his servant. From his hand came the strength and wisdom to end the killing. Victor Ritter, Schottenager, 20 April 1750